Hi, this is Marvin and I'm going to show you how to pan and zoom as well as how to crop images in video using Filmora 9 editor by way of picture demonstrations and through video instructions. Stay with me for a couple of minutes to learn how to do it. After dragging the file or files you wanted to pan and zoom or crop in the timeline, start by clicking the image. Once the image is clicked, a series of commands will be displayed. All you have to do is to click pan and zoom. You will find out that another window comes out. In this demonstration, I have labeled it as window P. If you want to crop the image to make it smaller or larger, all you need to do is to drag its edges upward or downward or even sideward, depending on the sizes that you desire. The green arrows indicate the green edges of different sides. To be able to pan and zoom some portions of the images, as the red arrow tells, you can do so in any portion or part you have selected. Cropping, panning, and zooming could be effective when you choose 16.9 ratio. This ratio is the image's resolution, which is important for a clear display of viewing images, especially if they are enlarged and are made to move. How are we going to pan and zoom? To make it clearer, click pan and zoom which is found above the second window. Originally as this window opens, the green rectangle is found outside an orange rectangle. Click the orange rectangle center for the green one to stay at the center or the middle. As you can see, the green is now at the center. When you click the green rectangle, a green arrow appears to indicate the direction and central part of what you want to pan and zoom. This photo demonstration shows a red arrow pointing towards it. Now let's focus on the part we want to pan and zoom. As indicated by the green rectangle and the arrow, the panning will move to the left side of the image towards a specific part. And as we do this, we maintain a ratio of 16.9. Of course, in every step we complete, it is relevant that we always click OK. Now here is another demonstration on choosing some of the other spots. Please note that in panning and zooming images, similar steps or processes are done and that they are only different by the part selected and directions as pointed by the arrow at the center of the green rectangle. In this illustration, the movement is on the right side of the image when panned and zoomed. Similarly, we need to use the same ratio for its resolution as shown below, which is 16.9. As it was instructed earlier, you can pan and zoom any area of an image as presented in here. In this following video instructions, I'm going to use these two images found in the timeline. 